Hey folks, uh, I got um, I got a lot of cleats on the inside of this guitar. Built uh, built. I cut out ten to begin with. I've got four left, so there's six in there. Um, so by doing the math, all right, I put four in with uh, just sticky tape to the magnets, and then was able to get my hand in far enough. When I got around down here, uh, got around down toward the end of the guitar, I couldn't get in there with any kind of accuracy, so I. Um, drilled holes in the in the splits and uh, fished uh, fished fishing line through the uh, hole and out and was able to tie a little stick little stick onto the onto the fishing line and just on both ends one end so it wasn't doesn't pull through the hole when you're fi uh, fiddling with the other end and then uh, put the uh, uh, the cleat, drill hole in the cleat, put the cleat on and then the magnet, through the magnet and then tie another stick on the other end and then I can pull and get the glue on it, pull it on into the uh, guitar and up against the side wall and so I got a magnet then on the inside and then all I have to do is set the magnet on the outside, holds it in place. So um, I did a couple like that. I used the smallest drill bit I have And it's not big and it's not awful, but it's a little bigger than I wanted. So I ended up, I had a 39,000 drill bit. And uh, so I did the first couple with that, and then I've just done a couple with a 14,000th guitar string uh, chucked up in my drill bit. You can't, or in my drill, you can't even see the thing, huh? Barely. Okay, you can with a glare in front of my face there. Um, but it's too small to chuck up so it would just spin so I bent the end over. So it's a little wobbly but it uh, it works. It did the job. So <clears throat> and it was I'm sure it was 14. I'll just double check that. 14 thousandths. Yeah. So uh, the fishing line is about nine. So that's um, that's going to be a much uh, much much smaller hole. I have a couple of them, this piece of tape here, there's one right next to it up here and then there's one somewhere else right over here. Uh, so I'm gonna do a couple more cleats because uh, I have two sets of magnets. The uh, one thing that you can't determine so far I've had really good luck with having them diamond uh, you know across the crack one thing I won't be able to determine pulling them in uh, with the fishing line is whether or not they're going to be vertical or horizontal or somewhere in between pretty much anywhere in between is fine it's just you, if it were a pr exactly horizontal match I wouldn't be as happy but it's still reinforcing the crack and the crack is already glued together so it's you know it's not that huge a deal I think that's probably one of the reasons, or uh, I don't know, besides just being easier, Steer McDonald's make, makes that uh, uh, bridge uh, repair gizmo, and it has part of it <clears throat> cuts out these rounded plugs. And so uh, I, I think they were using those as a, as a sideline to the bridge repair. They're using those little plugs as cleats as well. And, uh, and that's kind of cool because then you don't have, if you look in the guitar, you're just seeing a little round cleat rather than a square cleat with, you know, various orientations as you look around the, the side of the guitar. Because it's going to be, you know, it's just going to be where it lands, so it may not be exactly, I'm not in the camera, may not be exactly, you know, diamond or exactly horizontal, you know, anywhere in between. Now, if you're, if you're like me, that kind of makes you crazy, but uh, fortunately, nobody can see where these are at unless they're in there with a light and a flash, or a mirror and a flashlight and all that. And so you got to look in there. If you got to go crazy, then you got to have a light and a, and a mirror. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing, and I did already drill a couple of these little small holes. 
I'm going to go ahead and start fishing some string through and my glue's hot. I'm going to change my bit over though because I'm going to uh, to drill these out a little bigger uh, the 39,000 drill bit so that uh, it's just easier to deal with. That's it. I'll, uh, I'll kind of get set up and then bring you back in. Um, it's frustrating trying to tie that fishing line around these little tiny sticks so I don't know if you want to see that or not but I'm going to film it. Okay so um, little teeny hole to get this string through now. It wasn't as hard with the bigger hole. And it should go in there because I know the hole is bigger than the line. And, uh, and I'm sure it's right there. I'm going to just cut this off um, again. Looks like I kind of fuzzed the end of the string off with the cut. So try again. See if I can get it to be a little cleaner. Yeah. Well, this is frustrating. Try the other hole, maybe it's a little cleaner. It is not wanting to go in there. Yeah. Well, the razor I'm cutting this off with is pretty uh, pretty bad off, so I'm gonna try I'm gonna find a sharper razor or a new razor. Alright, I've Trimmed it off with a brand new razor. And it went in. Okay. So we're only talking to, well, I guess there's theoretically five thousandths of an inch difference between the line and the hole, so. And you can't see a thing because my big hand is blocking. Anyway, I'm just feeding this line into the hole and then I'm going to fish it out and I have that stick tied on there so that it can't come out the other side. I'm going to go ahead and pan back now. I uh, don't know how much good that did you anyway, but let's get some of these lights out of my way. Alright, so the first thing that would go on would be the cleat. Had to make sure that the non beveled edge side is going on first because that's the side that's going to hit the, the inside of the guitar. So, got that in there. Then I've got to use the the big magnet and you got to find out which side of the magnet is oh in this case I marked it with uh, tape the, ow these things are wicked um, well now I can't get it apart there we go I'll get it so um, yeah I accidentally tied one on and I didn't have tape on the magnet and it was the you know polar polar opposite and uh, so that didn't do me any good alright so then you're going to put the magnet on of course with the tape facing the plug so that when it gets pulled up it will actually attract the other magnet now I'm tying, going to tie the string on if I can find my little stick it was right here okay I've got the camera running oh, oh you bringing her out here? okay Got my camera back on. There's Lou. The um, 
she's she's vibrating. We're having thunderstorms, and she doesn't like that. So the girls are going on a walk. So they brought Lou out here. So you can get down here on the ground somewhere and vibrate. Okay. There you go. Find a spot. So the stick. What happened to my stick? Okay, I didn't make another one. It was lying right here in front of me. All right. Um, so this really is a pain. I don't know if it's the arthritis or I'm just clumsy or what, but it's hard to get this little stick tight on here. So for every time I've done one of these, <laughs> I've had to tie the stick on. And I've just, you know, I found it's just a lot easier if you just leave a lot of leader on the other side. Gives you something to grab onto. Uh, and it's just fishing line, so it's not like I'm going to run out. So I make a loop first and then put the stick through it and then do that. But then you got to get the second knot while you're holding the first knot tight. I'm sure you can't see that, but you know how to tie a knot. Um, one would assume. All right, so I got two knots in there. That went better with the camera running than it has ever uh, without it. So, and one more. Maybe I'm just more determined to get it done because the camera's running. All right, gonna go get my blue, my glue pot, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my glue. Um, I, you know, I could be using, uh, I could be using tight bond on these. It probably wouldn't make a bit of difference. I'm using the high glue because if I can get in there at some point, I'm not going to be able to reach down into the butt of the guitar anyway. But if I had some forceps and a wet, wet rag, I might be able to do some touch up. So that's, that's why I'm using it. It's just easier to clean up after the fact. So, um, here we go. Glue on the cleat. A little, uh, little extra dab there. And then the cool thing about this is that I can pick the guitar up, kind of dangle. I don't know if you can see that or not. The camera on there, maybe you can, yeah. And so, can you see? Yeah, you can see the cleat dangling in there. And uh, oh, I got you out of the frame. So, I can just pull that up now, straight up, and it's going to go to where I need it to be. So, there we go. And so, it is. Right where I need it, I got good tension on that fishing line and just fold it over and then I put the big magnet on there and that will hold my, my cleat up in there really good and tight. All right. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to make you watch another one of those, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feed another line through this little crack, through the little hole there and do the same thing. Since I got two sets of magnets, I can get two cleats uh, glued in while I'm at it. Set this back in the, uh, in the hot pot. All right, guys, so, uh, pardon the chair. There's, uh, there's those two cleats in. Got the, uh, obviously, well, not obviously, in this picture fishing line. Pulled them up tight. One thing I didn't think about here, and, uh, and I'm glad it didn't bite me, but as I was pulling this second one up, the magnet inside the guitar jumped over and grabbed this magnet. It was, uh, you know, because it's just dangling there. So I was able to tug on the fishing line and pull it back into line and then put this other magnet on it and stay in there. Um, and I checked inside to look and see what's going on there. And it didn't smear glue or anywhere. So it was uh, just one of those things that if I had considered the strength of these magnets and their proximity, I probably would not have done one this close. I have other other areas here that need to be cleated. I could have went all the way over here, for instance, and done this one. So. Um.